so welcome back next is step turning so our aim is to cut three steps so these are called steps step 1 2 3 the diameter of the workpiece is 25 millimeter and our aim is to reduce this to this diameter is 22 this diameter is 18 this is 15 see this distance is 13 millimeter and this is 17 this is 20 so cut three steps using G codes and M codes first our aim is to set the reference so this line this line is called X X 25 this reference line is X 25 why because the diameter of the workpiece is 25 this is the first step then this reference line the right end this is Z0 so X 25 Z0 these these are my reference then after setting the reference tool moves according to this reference position okay so as you already know that this n word are called sequence word block or block number which is used for identifying each block see my cnc program consisting of uh, say this number of blocks so the last block is n360 so these all are called blocks each blocks are identified by the sequence word n word n word then this is m03 s1000 which means spindle on clockwise with a thousand rpm m08 means coolant pump number one on then g0 so rapid positioning to which coordinate x27 is at y see the tool know that this line is x25 is at zero x27 means tool moves backward and z5 is this position then n020 g00 x25 z0 x25 z0 means this is the position x25 z0 then n030 g01 g01 means linear interpolation to z minus 50 so this line is z0 and this is z minus 50 tool moves up to this point z minus 50 because this distance is 50 this is z minus 50 and the feed is 50 feed is 50 millimeter per minute here our material is aluminium so for aluminium uh, I uh, gave a feed of 50 millimeter per minute then after phase after step cutting I retract my tool n n0 g00 x 20 27 is at 10 n040 x27 is at 10 x27 means tool moves backward is at 10 so this is my position then n050 g00 x24 is at 0 x24 is at 0 so this is the position and n060 g01 is at minus 50 feed 50 so tool moves to minus 50 is at minus 50 now the diameter of the workpiece is reduced to 24 so this is 25 and this is 24 and this distance is 50 then n070 g00 x30 is at 5 x30 means tool retracted x30 and is at 5 so this is tools position then n080 g00 x23 is at 0 x23 means x23 so this is the position x23 is at 0 and n090 g01 is at minus 50 feed 50 so tool moves to is at minus 50 okay so now the diameter of this portion is 23 see this diameter is 25 and this time di this diameter this total diameter is 23 and this distance is 50 okay then n 100 g00 x 28 is at 10 so after set after uh, cutting the diameter 23 tool retracted to x 28 and is at 10 then n 110 g 00 x 22 is at 0 so tool moves to x 22 is at 0 n 120 g 01 is at minus 50 feed 50 so tool moves to this position 
is at minus 50. Now the diameter of this portion is 22. So this total is 50 millimeter. So here our workpiece is there. The diameter of this portion is 22. Here this is 25. And after, after cutting the 22 millimeter diameter tool retracted to N130 G00 X30 is at 10. X30 is at 10. To now the position of tool is this. Then N140 G00 X21 is at 0. So tool moves to X21 is at 0. Then N150 G01 is at minus 30 feed 50. So tool moves to is at minus 30. So from this point to this point is at minus is at minus 30. Now this distance is 30. The diameter of this portion is 21. Then tool is retracted to N160 G00 X30 is at 10. Then again tool goes to N170 G00 X20 is at 0. This is X20 is at 0. Then N180 G01 linear interpolation is at minus 30 feed 50. So tool moves to is at minus 30. Now the diameter of the workpiece is 20 millimeter. And after cutting the step turning, tool is retracted to X30 is at 8. That is N190. N190 is G00 X30 is at 8. So tool moves backward and on the right side. Then N200 G00 X19 is at 0. X19 is at 0. This is the position. Tool moves to N210 G01 linear interpolation is at minus 30 feed is 50. So now the tool position is this. Now the diameter of this portion is 19, 19 millimeter. Again tool is retracted to X30 is at 10. That is N220 G00 X30 is at 10. X30 is at 10. Then N230 G00 X18 is at 0. Tool goes to X18 is at 0. This is the position. Then N240 G01 is at minus 30 feed 50. So tool moves to is at 0 to is at minus 30. Now the diameter of this portion is 18 millimeter. See this distance is 30 millimeter and the diameter is 18 millimeter. Now this is the workpiece. This diameter is 25 millimeter and this diameter is 22 and this distance is 20 millimeter and from this point to this point the diameter is 18 millimeter and this distance is 30 millimeter then n250 g00 x30 is at 6 which means tool is retracted tool is retracted to x30 is at 6 rapidly again positioning n260 g00 x17 is at 0. Tool moves to x17 is at 0. Okay. Then linear interpolation n270 g01 is at minus 13 feed 50. So tool moves to is at 0 to is at minus 13. Now the diameter of this portion is 17, 17 millimeter. Then tool is retracted n280 to x30 is at 5 x30 is at 5 then n290 g00 x16 is at 0 tool is positioning to x16 is at 0 n300 g01 is at minus 13 feed 50 tool moves from is at 0 to is at minus 30 now the diameter of this workpiece is 16 millimeter Again tool is retracted to X30 is at 8. That is N310 G00 X30 is at 8. 
tool is retracted from this point to this point x30 is at 8 again last step positioning the tool at x15 is at 0 so this is the position x15 is at 0 and n330 g01 is at minus 13 feed 50 so tool moves from this point to this point now the diameter of this portion is 15 millimeter the distance is 13 millimeter then last step tool is retracted to x35 and z15 m10 is coolant pump off and m30 is program end so now the 25 millimeter diameter workpiece is changed to three steps 22 millimeter 18 millimeter and 15 millimeter this is a simple step turning using g00 and g01 code thank you